Hi, welcome to the overview course on Power BI, where you're going to be answering critical business questions with data and visualization. This is going to be a little bit of a different course because in each step, I want to empower you to be able to answer questions with Power BI. So the first thing we're going to do in this short video is we're going to make sure that you can load data into Power BI and get you a little bit familiar with the interface of Power BI. So if you haven't downloaded Power BI, make sure that you have Power BI desktop on your machine before we get started. Once you have that, we're going to open Power BI by clicking the icon. And it's going to give us some options once the window opens. Now, when this window opens, we have a couple options. We can see uh, recent news from Power BI blog and the forums. They can give us some training videos. And on the left side here, we have options such as loading data, seeing recent uh, files. And this extension, PBIX, is a Power BI workbook file extension. So we can open reports from here also. But since this video is all about getting data into Power BI, let's start with that. Let's click the Get Data icon. And this is going to give us some options here. So for this course, we're going to be dealing with a lot of Excel and CSV files. And for this first course, I want you to get familiar with loading a CSV file into Power BI. Now, it seems kind of complicated, but it's quite easy. We know we have the Get Data window open. We move down to Text or CSV. Click that. Now, you should know where your file is. For this first option, we're going to be looking at a Facebook campaign. So let's click that. It's going to connect to the data source and load into Power BI. Now we have a window, a preview window, and it shows us the first 200 rows in our data set. We have an option to load it in directly, edit it, or cancel. So let's, let's transform the data first or edit the data before we load it, just to get a, a look at everything. So when you click Transform Data, it opens the Edit Queries menu. And this is your kind of section where you're able to model and cleanse the data. We have all our columns here. We can change the data type just by double clicking it. And we'll do a lot of this in the next couple of videos. And then after this, we're going to load our data back into Power BI. So you're going to navigate up to where it says close and apply. Hit close and apply. And then we're going to see our data populate all those columns on the right section where it says fields. So we can see all the columns we have. We can see these icons that indicate this is a number. And we can see this icon here, which indicates it's a date. We have our visualization pane where we can change visualizations. We're going to spend a lot of time on that. Even though we see a lot of options here, as you go through this course, it's going to be quite easy. Let me direct your attention back over to the left side where we have these three icons here. And if you hover over, this is our report view. If we click this, this is our data view, which allows us to go back in and see all our data. We can also do some changes here. And then we have our table or model view. And we only have one table in, but eventually we're going to build data models with multiple tables that load in and allow us to transform our data. If you ever wanted to get back and load more data in, because we did that directly from the window, 
there is a get data option here in your top ribbon under the home tab and we can also get data here and we're not limited to Excel or CSV files which we're going to spend a lot of time in this course on that but we're also going to load in some other types of data and if we hit more you can see all the certified data connectors and data sources with Power BI so there's a whole host of different connectors and different data inputs that we can put in alright so now that you're familiar with how to get data in Power BI let's move on to modeling and making your first graph 